Hi, this is Stephen from Mona Disso. Well, Alienware have updated their laptops to bring you the M15 and the M17R4 combined with the new RTX 3000 series GPUs. At this time, they only go the Intel route with the i7 10875H and the i9 10980HK. But they did say that they will be updating them later on. So that tells me that they will also offer AMD Zen 3 5000 CPU options later this year, perhaps around about May or June. Now they did say that they have revamped their cryogenic cooling with larger fans, larger heat pipes and more heatsink fins, and still using vapour chamber cooling, with the possibility to cool up to a TDP of 198 watts. So I imagine 150 watts for the RTX 3080 and, uh, and the RTX 3070 and 48 watts for the Intel CPU. Now I imagine the M15 will perhaps be able to accommodate a GPU that goes all the way up to about 115 watts. When doing CPU only work, we may see the CPU push even 120 watts, which would be great. Now looking at the starting prices, they're both at $2,150. And I suspect that they will start with a 3070 Max-Q. I think it would be a hard sell having an RTX 3060 at that level. Alienware will be using a 12-phase graphics voltage regulation to help maintain power levels for uninterrupted long gaming sessions. Now RAM configurations go up to 32GB, but it looks like they will be soldered on, which is a huge shame. So make sure you buy the configuration that you need. Now for storage, they do have two M.2 slots, and they have options for 1TB, 2TB and 4TB in RAID 0. Disappointingly, Unlike many of their competitors, they do not have a QHD option. They offer 1080p at 144 or 360Hz or 4K 60Hz. And interestingly, if you want G-Sync, you will need to go with the M17R4 1080p panel. There's no mention of Advanced Optimus, so I suspect the display is connected to the dedicated GPU. So despite the large 86Wh battery, expect at best 3 hours of juice. Unless they have a mug switch to manually switch GPUs, which I highly doubt. The M15 also has an 86 watt hour battery. The M15's 4K panel is an OLED, so at least it has a low 1 millisecond response time versus the 25 milliseconds on the 17 inch 4K panel. Plus, it is HDR500 with true black compliance. Both 4K panels offer Toby eye tracking. Now, zoned RGB lighting is standard with an option of per key RGB, which can be controlled along with overclocking via the Alienware Control Center. Both the M15 and M17 notebooks are available in lunar light and dark side of the moon colours. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. Thank you for watching. Bye now.